Good Monday morning. Almost a month ago now, my mom had hip replacement surgery. And I had the privilege of going to be with her and staying with her. And when I was packing up my bag, I was packing up my work bag and I had thought, you know, we'll have a lot of downtime. I'll get a lot of work done. And as I was packing, I heard that gentle whisper, that gentle tug in my heart, my spirit, and I've learned to pay attention to that. That's usually how the Holy Spirit speaks to me. I mean, he lives in there, so it's not surprising that's often where he does his speaking. And I felt him say, I want you to be present with your mom. And I kind of sat back in that because I have been a producer, if you will, for a very long time. I started my first job when I was 14 and I've had a job ever since. At one point in college, I had three jobs while I was going to school. Uh, so I've, I've known how to produce for a very long time. But that was a very clear message. And what I discovered was the sweetest time with my mom. Uh, she's never really had to be served because she is such a servant. So it was a learning curve for her and a gift for me to be able to serve her that way. And so my thought for you this morning is, is along that, those lines, what are we missing because we're so addicted to producing or we feel so pressured to produce in a producing culture that we have missed the gift of living present. And could it be that we are missing the directives of the Lord because we're so tunnel visioned in what we're doing that we may miss if he wants to lead us down a course that's different from the one that we're on. And it, it brought to mind the scripture in 1 Corinthians chapter 16, very last chapter, verses 12 and 13. Paul is writing and he says, as for our brother Apollos, I urged him to accompany the other brothers on a visit to you. He will come as soon as he has time, but for the present, it is not the will of God that he should visit you. So Paul was telling them, he's coming, he's coming to visit you, but it's not what he's supposed to do right now in this present moment, because each moment has a particular course of its own. And I just was really reminded of the power of living in the present with people and the ministry and healing work that can occur inside of that. And sometimes we're just so busy, busy pushing through that we miss the privileged moments of being present with people. Last year, when we finished our home here in Georgia, that had been my job for almost two years, I felt like the Lord said, I want you to build this home. And I did not realize that he was building things on the inside of me, but it was a season that other than these Monday musings, I produced nothing ministry oriented or work books oriented. And then when we finished the house, all the grace for building it had lifted and then I felt like the Lord said, I don't want you again to work in your normal way of working or producing over this summer. I want you to settle into this home and I want you to be present with the people that come. And I was. And I was shocked at the ministry that occurred on the back porch having a cup of morning coffee or when we lingered longer around this table at night and laughed and played games. Because ministry happens when we are present. You know, we're all ministers 
of the gospel. All of us, some do it as a profession and some do it just because we all get to do it. But how much of ministry do we miss because we're so focused on getting it done that we're not listening? We're not listening for the heart of God in the conversations we're having. We're not listening as we're preparing to meet or be with someone to hear what he may want to say or how he may want us to love them or a gift he may want us to give them or just being present with them. So that's my word for you this Monday morning. It's nothing profound, but yet it's profoundly life-changing when we learn how to do it. And it really is what is needed most right now. I don't know that we need another book in this life. Maybe, I love to read, but I do know that the people that walk through that door need me to be present with them and in that the Holy Spirit can work. So I just encourage you to be present this week, present with the Holy Spirit, present with the people he allows you to encounter listening for his words, his heart. And I think you'll be amazed at the ministry that can occur.